the Thomas Pettit, you, you can find it on YouTube, Vis Visual Radio, otherwise known as, as YouTube at the moment. Um, it it does make sense just as sound, but it, it's it's probably better with all all the diagrams. Um, on that, the next one I'm going to play. The, these are ones which have been played before, but now that Phonic FM is on DAB in, in Plymouth and Tor Bay, um, and just ahead of Bet, I think it's worth playing playing some of these again. Um, this is only what I'm going to play is only half of a, a Cory Doctorow interview with um, Creative Commons. Because there's, there's, I think there's two main ways of looking at all of this. There's the sort of content marketing idea, which is how music radio has, has nearly always been. That you're you're able to play singles or tracks from a, a CD or ahead of a performance, um, and create commons where the, the 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 writers or the performers aren't 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 too worried about owning the content um, whether it's a, a medieval voice storytelling tradition uh, which I think is where, where Wittiff and Dior are at, the, st the storyteller who started this show um, but I'll, I'll ask I think you'll turn up in the summer so I'll, I'll, I'll check all of this again but I, th I think there's, there's a lot of that goes on as well um, but the the relevance of this is what 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 we can do with sound, because as I, as I mentioned before, um, Jeff Jarvis is quite quite happy to contribute or to respond to tweets ahead of bet next week, but um, I don't think we're going to be able to take bits out of the audio book version of the Gutenberg parenthesis. So it's available as a as a hardback book. Uh, but it's the audio book. The um, the copyright situation is is different, and Cory Doctorow recently, um, if you look if you look for the bezel, which is out um, February twentieth as a book, he's he's crowdfunding the audio book because he's. J just follow the links through. I've, I've put out some tweets. W e n o t n o. I'll, I'll, I haven't got it open yet, but I'll, I'll, I'll probably will have that open in the studio today. Um, or will seven eight nine G B. I've, I've put put several links to the bezel and bits of um, blog and so forth. Um, but look for. If you look for the bezel on YouTube, you'll find, I think it's the first three chapters. It's about an hour, but I don't think it's Creative Commons. I don't, I don't, I don't think I can play that. Um, but interestingly, the publishers in the States is Tor, Mac, Tor Macmillan, and in the UK it's Head of Zeus Bloomsbury. And it's Bloomsbury, I think it's an academic bit of Bloomsbury, is publishing the Gutenberg parenthesis. So it'd be interesting to know what Bloomsbury think any of this voice or sound is doing to promote print books and if it should be contained or encouraged. So I don't I don't know if uh, um, if we'll get any any comment from that, but there's going to be lots of people at Bet next week. I'm sure there are some book book publishers, and it it it's um. I think the case the the well especially is the the universities are going to be there as well as the schools. A, ahead by Bet on Twitter, ahead by Bet is the the academic part of it. Let's say. Um, and most of the most of the campus is is the library. There's there's lots of other buildings as well, but the the library is is a large large part of it. Um, 
So if it's all online or voice or sound, it changes changes the situation quite quite a lot. So um, whether uh, I'm, I'm hoping Ru- Russell Russell Prue and Bet Radio, they they ha- they have got a studio near the speaker lounge, so they might they might get into this. I don't know what range of of discussions going to be. Uh, well, what they'll have time for. Anyway, this is the first part of Corey Doctorow's interview with with Creative Commons. <laughs> 